Hey, what's up, freaks? Welcome to the lifting session. I am Emma Eckert, peak physique and peak performance coach, and I will be your host for today's workout. So let's do this. Now, so many of you have seen us here on Facebook and you've been following us. Some of you are peak freak members. This is awesome. If this is your first time, welcome and let's get going. Now, we're gonna assume that you already were that. Now, if you were playing this message, if you were playing this video, we always show you different types of warm up. And today, if you're gonna jump with us to the session, we're gonna incorporate some stretches after the first round. So let's assume that you did already your foam rolling, that you did uh, some active stretching, you did maybe some bands uh, from previous videos, and in between uh, the different different workouts that we're gonna do, we're gonna incorporate some stretch. So we're gonna start today's lifting. So we're gonna be lifting some dumbbells or kettlebells if you have. We're gonna start with a chest press with both arms. So let's do this, guys. This is a full 60 minutes of lifting session. Let's do this together. Lay down on the bench, take a deep breath in, a 90 degree angle, and let's pump those dumbbells. So we're not going by time today. We're mostly gonna go by numbers. We're gonna go a little bit more reps. So we always try to get into the fatigue of the muscle. First round can be just a warm up round. You should never be lifting super heavy dumbbells at first. There should be something in, a, I would say medium dumbbells that you normally would lift just to get your body going. Increase your core temperature. That's how you should start. Good, awesome. Get up, leave the dumbbells. You can stretch your chest. You can come to uh, the wall. You can come to a furniture. Stretch the front of your chest and your shoulders. Loosen up your arms in and out. Reach down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And again, back is straight. Deep breath in and exhale. Bring your arms across. Stretch the posterior side of your shoulders. Loosen up. We're gonna start with a single leg squat. So now, we're gonna start with sitting position, left leg is on the floor. You're gonna get up and get down. Now some of you cannot do that from this height. What you can do, you can have a higher step and do this or use the TRX or use something to support you. You can hold on to something and get up. You might have a partner in front of you that will give you the hand to get up. So we're gonna do a few wraps on each leg. The other leg is off the ground. As you see, my right leg is off the ground. My left leg is bent. Let's switch. Down and up. Deep breath in is when you down and exhale as you up. So again, single leg squats, a lot of legs today few of them just to get your body going. We're gonna try to stay even, so just count your reps on the left and on the right. Good, and time. What I want you to do, reach down towards the floor, loosen up your shoulders, keep your legs straight, loosen them up, keep that leg straight wide because you wanna stretch that hamstring, right? Now we're gonna raise one leg up. You're gonna look Look straight ahead, both feet facing the same direction. Reach towards your toes and stand up straight. So again, deep breath in and exhale. So as you see, I'm incorporating these stretches as I go. Few back is straight, so you try not to round your back. Toes are up, by bringing your toes up, you already feel it like the stretch on the hamstrings, right? Reach and stand up straight. And again, both arms fully extended, Legs are straight, try not to round your back. Try to elongate and look forward and actively reach with your arms. Okay, good. Now we're gonna get the dumbbells or no dumbbells in the first round. Just kind of get your body adjusted to the workout. So we're gonna start squatting. The next round we're gonna add some dumbbells, but right now this is our first squat. It's okay to do body weight. Guys, your body, should be naturally warming up for the workout. You should not be jumping into anything heavy. The first round is kind of getting loose, getting your body adjusted to the motion. 
So how we squat it? Look, your knees should be in line with your ankles. You should not be pushing your knees. So you folding your hips first, folding your hips, standing up straight. And again, you can sit on the bench and stand up. This is totally fine. If you're training for the first time, deep breath in and exhale. For those of you who are intermediate, advanced, you can pump those legs, go even below your 90 degree angle, and time, and you are ready. Feel the heart rate increasing. Now we're gonna get those quad stretches going. I told you we're gonna loop this around for first few exercises more than normally you would do, because I want you to fully get that stretch going. Reach over, deep breath in, and exhale. So reach, elongate. You wanna stretch your legs. We did such a hard workout cardio yesterday, super sore, and this will, will feel better. Okay, so we're gonna start with alternating chest press on a bench. Now, some of you do not have benches, this is okay. You can lay down on the floor. You don't need to have a bench. You can do the same exercises on the floor. All right, ready? Let's do this. Lay down, and we're gonna pump alternating. So 90 degree angle, one arm at a time. Stick that chest out, and we're gonna go. Inhale and exhale. Inhale on the bottom of the movement, exhale up. And I want you to go through that pattern of breathing. Inhale, through your nose. Exhale through your lips, targeting the abdominal wall. Chest, strong arms, bicep, tricep. So each of us will be doing different amount of reps, right? And this is totally fine. If you will, and then up, still training when I'm finishing here or I'm done and you already stop. Maybe just adjust the weight or stretch and get back to it. All right, single leg squat. We're gonna be doing a lot of reps today. You ready? Let's go. We still gonna do a body weight, not using the dumbbell. Eventually you're gonna see me lifting the dumbbell here, but right now it's just body weight. I'm going for about eight repetitions here. And then you're gonna switch the legs. As you realize, I started with my right leg, so different than before. Get that balance going. Lift the other leg off the ground, and let's go. Back is straight. I'm fully sitting down on that bench. And time, we're gonna get some lighter dumbbell. Medium, I would say. I can start with 10 and 15. I know that it's, look, it's a lot of repetition, so I'm not worried about that. Right now that I'm starting light, I just wanna get my body ready for a great performance, okay? <sighs> Breathing out. <sighs> Some of you are probably wondering, where is Tyson? Well, Tyson is going to be doing some lifting session today at the gym. Different time. I'm pumping the workout here by myself. But don't you worry, tomorrow is free boxing. We're all going to be here doing the workout together. Time. All right. Again, you can stretch. We're going to go into from the top, pressing, doing a chest press. You can adjust the weight if you want to. I'm going to get my 25s here. <clears throat> so we're gonna lay down on the bench or on the floor. 
and both arms will be up right now. So as you realize, this is a third round. We're doing different each time. It's not the same. This is very important. So raise your arms up, feet on the floor, one arm at a time. So the other arm remains up. Deep breath in and exhale. Above the chest, not above your head. The position of the dumbbells is above the chest. Keep on going guys, I'm breaking a good sweat already. I'm feeling it. One arm at a time, the other one stays up. Drop those dumbbells. We're gonna do a Bulgarian squat. So one leg is up. You can keep it on the bench. You can keep it on the stool. Whatever you have. Maybe you have some furniture. Maybe a couch at home. So we're gonna start with one leg forward. My upper body is in between my legs. So when I go down, both legs are at 90 degrees. Do you see that? Now I don't want you to look at the camera. I want you to look straight ahead and listen to my cues. Left leg forward, right leg on top of the bench. My legs are shoulder width apart, shoulders are back, chest is up. I'm gonna slowly go down as I'm bending my knees. My front knee should not be going over my toes, should be in line with my ankle. And then stand up, that's it. I want you to engage your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, and really focus, ready? Let's do this. Deep breath in and exhale. No dumbbells. I really showed you the breathing technique here. Right leg forward, left leg on top of the bench. The same setup, leg shoulder width apart. My upper body is in between my legs. Shoulders back, chest is out. Nice, tall posture. Deep breath in, bending both of my legs and standing up straight without locking the knees. So I'm engaging my hamstrings, my glutes. Breathe out. Inhale, guys, down. Exhale, up. Excellent. Awesome job. Now we're going to grab two dumbbells two dumbbells and we're gonna do alternating reverse lunge alternating reverse lunge how are we doing everybody so if this is your first time you never done reverse lunge do a body weight don't use the dumbbells got it let's do this Marlene hello I see you guys tagging other people here. Awesome. Step back, one leg at a time. Deep breath in and exhale. 90, 90. Shoulders back, chest is out. Go, go, go. 90, 90. Awesome job. Add dumbbells to the side, as you see, different positioning. I don't want you to rush. Deep breath in. As I'm stepping back, this is important, guys. Look, I am not doing a shift with my upper body. I am just stepping with my leg. I'm landing on the ball of my foot. And then I'm pushing back off that foot and bringing it back to center. My front leg is at 90 degree angle. And time. Good work, good job. Now, pay attention to your body, how it feels. Does anything feel tired, uncomfortable, tight? Sit on the bench, stretch your legs. Stretch 
stretching throughout the session is important. Some of you will go non-stop and do, does not give your body a rest. That's not a good training system. You gotta give a moment of a stretch so you can perform well, okay? Of course, sip your water. Here is super hot in California. We gotta stay, stay hydrated. Look how many bottles of water, empty bottles of water are here. All right, we're gonna do a single arm press and then we're gonna do a deadlift and this is gonna finish the, the chest. We're gonna move to the next group, okay? So we're going non-stop, we're pumping non-stop, let's go. Lay down, right on. This creates total instability. Deep breath in, 90. So left side is in trouble. Your right side is only working. Your left side has to balance it out, keep it straight. So don't quit. Just keep on going until it gets uncomfortable. And then squeeze a few more. Because we are at that moment that you need to need to really pay attention and push it hard. Your stomach plays an important role right now, as it always is, especially now with single arm. You need to keep it tight. One more. Ah, fatigue? Yes, that's the whole point. Sit tall for a second. Let's get your arm around going. Lay down. Let's go. I bring my hand on top of my abdominal wall just to keep it tight and straight and steady. You can do the same or you can keep your hand here or you can keep it here. It doesn't matter really. I like it here. You will see the engagement of your abs. Don't forget about breathing guys. Some of you will be holding your breath, which is wrong. Inhale, exhale. Let's pump it up. Left leg 
will be extended. We're gonna keep the back straight. We're gonna extend the other leg. You can hold on to the left hand, with the left hand to the furniture, and you can lean forward and then stand up straight. Look how nice and smooth this is, and you're still getting so much work on that right leg because it's all about that right glute right now. Now, you're gonna be digging your right leg, your right heel into the ground. That's the whole point. You're gonna feel that foot working so much because you stay on a single leg, right? Yes. Deep breath in, back is straight, we got this. This is a good workout, great workout. We're gonna do it all the uncomfortable things and time. Now we're gonna get a one dumbbell or maybe a kettlebell. You can do the kettlebell as well. You can do dumbbell. We're gonna place this in front of us right here. And we're gonna lean forward. Look, I'm bending both of my knees like with the other exercise, and I'm standing up straight. What's important here? Not to do this. Watch for a second. Watch in my back. Do not do this, please. How are we gonna set it up? We're gonna push our hips and our glutes down. I'm hinging for the hips, keeping my back straight. You see, shoulder blades are together, and then extending and squeezing my glutes. Let's do this. So the lats. The arms, the tricep, the bicep, everything is working here. Hamstrings, your glutes, that lifting, great workout. Oof. So if you do not have kettlebell, you can do it with one dumbbell, just doing the same exercise, holding the dumbbell. I'm gonna turn around here for you so you can see forward. Deep breath in right here, exhale. Your glutes, your abs are engaged. Tight, tight, tight. You gotta connect your mind and your body together. And time. Awesome job. Sip of the water, maybe stretching, quads, hamstrings, glutes, whatever you want to. My stuff settles. I always have to shake it. Okay. Then overall, we're gonna start with the same fashion like the other one. Both arms first. And then we're gonna pump all the legs that we did, but now with dumbbells only. Everything dumbbells. Body weight is done. We gotta add these dumbbells. So, let's do this. Bend over is very similar to a deadlift. You just stay in that position. So you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. You're gonna hinge for the hips and your dumbbells will be facing the ground. Now we're gonna start rowing those dumbbells, squeezing your shoulder blades together without raising your shoulders, okay? I want you just to bring your elbows to the side of the ribcage and above and beyond, beyond your point of your back. And again, go. Legs should be shoulder width apart. Squeeze it, abs and glutes tight. Legs lift. Go, go, go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nose, mouth, nose, mouth. Now you know the pattern, go. Oh, and time. Gonna get one dumbbell. I'm soaking wet. One dumbbell, and we're just gonna do a squat and stand up. Right? So, right here on that bench, we're gonna start with our left leg on the ground. Stand up. Now, you guys know what to do. Some of you are still gonna be doing body weight because you cannot do a dumbbell. This is fine. Maybe a TRX, fine. Those of you who grabbed that dumbbell, congratulations. Those of you who are first time here, congratulations. This is a first step in becoming healthier. Remember, words, words and speaking and saying what you're gonna do without action, it's just a dream, it's nothing. But by those who showed up and doing it today, awesome. Congratulations. We're gonna switch. 
onto the other leg. Onto the other leg. So right leg is on the ground. Guys, I've been doing this for over almost 30 years I've been doing fitness. Some of you ask me, how come? This is impossible. Whoa, were you a baby? Oh, I was kind of a baby. I was 13 when I started. When I was 16, actually younger, 15, I was already teaching at school. So I started very young, the journey, and that's what I do, and I absolutely love it. Almost there. Ah, nice work. We did left and right. Now we gotta do a regular squat, front squat. So we're gonna get that heavier dumbbell. Both of your legs are in use. So no mercy guys. Get some heavy one go and go here. Squat and stand up straight. Your elbows should be touching both knees. Now, here comes the thing. If some of you are squatting and your upper back is on, on it, it has a pain, that means your dumbbell is too heavy. Lower the dumbbell, it's not worth it. Shoulders are back. The goal, look, some of you have seen this in the gyms. Guys and girls too, lift heavy weights, but with poor technique. This is not gonna develop your muscle the right way. You're gonna get injured. Do a better technique and do a lighter. You get me? Okay, let's go. You can build up to it, but you need to go through the steps. Mastering the technique is the key. Let's go. it down. Throw it down. All right. Bulgarian split. Now you know it's dumbbells, but for those of you who cannot, I don't want you to worry about it. I want you to practice your body weight. You ready? One leg on top of the step, stool, couch, whatever is safe. Always safety first. Dumbbell in front of you, leg shoulder width apart, we're going down and up. Let's go. Pump it. down for a second, the other leg. So guys, they want to challenge you to really fall in love with fitness, fall in love with exercise, fall in love with the feeling that you have about it. Almost there. 
Welcome to the soreness. You're gonna feel amazing tomorrow. You're gonna be sore. And that's the whole point. It's good. It's good to feel sore. It's good to you, you know that what worked. Your exercise leaves an imprint. And that's the whole idea. All right, we're gonna do reverse lunges. We know that dumbbells should be to the side. Your legs are healthy, hips are good. Get a heavier one, no problem. Stepping back one leg at a time. We are working, guys. Now, some of you might wanna, I told you, you wanna do more reps, go ahead. We're doing bent over row. It's the same setup as the chest press. We have double, we have alternating, we have from the top alternating, we have single. So it's the same right now. Or pause the video and continue. Breathe out. No holding the breath. Shoulders are back, chest is out. Awesome job, guys. Salute, drink some water. Great workout. Three to four liters of water, guys, every day. People struggle with dehydration, permanent dehydration. People don't drink water. People don't recognize what's hunger, what's thirst. Always the thirst is first, not the hunger. See, when you watch my videos, I always give you some good points. So, keep on watching, staying here. All right, ready? Bend over the wall from the top. Right here, we're gonna squeeze out the wings and we're gonna do one arm at a time, okay? Back is healthy, we'll go a little heavier without sacrificing your technique. This is unacceptable. Do not hold the dumbbells too long. Let's roll. Roll it, hold it one arm at a time. You see me? One arm at a time. When the right is down, left is up. Get that kettlebell or dumbbell heavy. 
I'm gonna increase my weight for my kettlebell. Why not? That's safety first. So both legs deadlift. Powerhouse out of your abs. Back is straight. I am not letting those shoulders to go forward. I'm squeezing them back, back and down. Oof. few more. Now we're gonna go into overhead press, the same leg, because guys, the same leg. So we're doing the same. Single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, and three different exercises. See, everything is organized. It's not scattered, and it doesn't make sense, it makes sense. That's how we plan, how I plan the workouts. So, let's go. Now we're gonna go into overhead presses. Uh, of course, both dumbbells. Let's see if we're not gonna make the wall, the the hole in the ceiling. I'm gonna get 90 right here, 90. Shoulders back, chest is out, knees are slightly bent, and we're gonna pump it. As you see me, I am not going below my 90 degree level. Breathe out. Keep on going. Feel fatigue. Ah. Abs tight. Time. Because what happens is when you have overhead press and when you start getting tired, your body starts pushing your stomach forward and you start making that seat out of your ass. So you look like this. But what happens is you're overstretching your abs. There is no control in your abdominals. So you putting so much pressure on your lower back. So you gotta engage. That's why it's constant engagement. You cannot talk to others during the workout. That's not the purpose of a workout. There is no, I should be, be socializing it because you need to focus on your form. That's the whole idea. And you're gonna have a better exercise this way, okay? We're doing a single leg squat, putting bucket of sweat here, guys. All right, right leg on the floor. Shoulders back, chest is up. We're gonna dig that heel into the ground. Let's roll. Ah. Go, go, go. Good, front squat. Get a heavier dumbbell if you want. 
I am. Ready? Go, front squat. Now you know the front squat. Breathe out. Good job. You feel that? <laughs> That's what I felt, exactly how it felt to me. That heart rate. Right, overhead press. Yeah, dumbbell to dumbbell, now you see it. 90, one arm, at, one arm at a time, go, one arm at a time. I'm repeating this because I know that so many of you will not even listen to me and do your own freaking thing instead of listening. Pay attention. this point you should totally feel it leg super tired go other leg now you know how to do it
few more minutes, guys. We are almost at the end. I promise you. Overhead, both dumbbells up, single leg deadlifts and a deadlift. Ah. So now if you work out every day like us, during the second workout the next day, you will start feeling the soreness from previous day. This is normal. Even if you haven't felt it before, Let's go, both dumbbells are up, 90. You know what's coming. What's coming is your single leg deadlift. Oh, hammies, ham, ham is tight. Loosen up the ham, loosen up your lower back. Oh. All right, dumbbells, both kettlebells in front. We are rolling. Single leg deadlift. Let's go. Eight and eight. Straight as a plane. more. Good. Deadlift. Get your heavy bell or heavy dumbbell. Oof. And that should be sideways. Shoulders back, just this out. Push those hips back. Kettlebell goes right in the center and between your legs and then you're standing up straight and getting your glutes and your abs without locking your knees, guys. Now, what we're gonna do, if you have the time and you can do one more round, you're gonna incorporate the bicep curls. So, and everything of the lower body, but today, and right now I'm cutting the lower body in half. This time is up, but you can do more. So bicep curl, shoulders back, chest is out. You will do single leg after, single leg squat, left and right, then front squat. So I'm gonna get the dumbbell for the front squat. But you doing a single leg, single leg, and then front squat, okay? Or of 
course if you don't have the time you're doing what I'm doing. bicep we're gonna do one arm at a time one arm at a time and look guys today is just lifting but every day we do different exercises we never repeat them we repeat the exercises, but never repeat the workouts you know and that's a different story so you always feel challenged and now with our application you can do this and enjoy, follow along, and different types of workouts that we have put together in a different form like never before. So send us a message, let's do this. We have clients that take these workouts to the gym, commercial gyms, and do them because commercial gyms don't work as we know. And if you've been stuck and unhappy and unhealthy the way how you look, you need a change and simply you need someone to guide you, to mentor you, to coach you, to show you and lead by example, not just talking and, and not showing the right way of life. The Freak family shows it, we lead by example, we show you exactly how it is and you cannot go wrong with that. So. Not only the workouts, but nutrition. We have the nutrition down to the Z, exactly how it's supposed to be. And, and then you can really reach your ultimate potential. And for those who complain and say that this is, uh, this is too much or too strict, it's simply too hard. And hard things are very difficult to do in life. And that's why not everybody can be fit. Not everybody can step into the best song of their lives. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just like, what do you want? Do you want to be the best version of yourself? Or do you want to follow the masses and be unhappy and unhealthy and cover it up and talk bullshit? Which one is it? So speaking the truth is the way to go. Ah, let's go. Almost there. I told you we are almost at the end. Almost at the end. Time. One more we're gonna do. Heart is pounding, sweating everywhere, and one more left. One more left. Now remember, you can do the single, single from the top. Squeeze it. This is it. You accomplished. If you stayed and you did it, you didn't just wash, you actually did that workout, or you're gonna do this workout, that's an accomplishment then congratulations guys again for doing it good for you good for you making it happen and not finding all these excuses not to do it god it's so easy to find excuses really look around there's plenty of them actually the walking excuses too not just the one that's floating in the air, the walking excuses. There's plenty of walking excuses around us. So, the legs is deadlift, but single, single, double. So do that deadlift 
and then followed by this one. But since this is the last one, this is it. Finish line ahead of you. Still with good technique, still engaging, still thinking about what you're doing. Almost there. Ah. And time, guys. This was awesome. You did it. Great job. Let me know how it went. You guys going? In like five minutes. Okay. Somebody wanted to see Tyson. Oh, my head was cut. <laughs> Oh, guys, hello, Paula. Oh, I see you guys. So, awesome job. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Sweat buckets. Good for you for making this commitment today. Give me a high five and a fist bump, which I call Żuvik, right? Żuvik. Yes. We speak Polish. And today is Wednesday. Join me at No Excuses Ladies at 12.15 p.m. on our page, No Excuses Ladies, or the YouTube channel, or Instagram. Don't miss it, great episode. Had a lot of awesome, juicy stuff coming up. So just stay there, join me. I want your participation, I wanna know what you're thinking, how you're doing things, and what's the lessons, what's the one factor that you always can take something from, you know, at least one thing that you can appreciate from a lesson. So it's all our brains should be put into work, right? And out of this, you never know, some amazing stuff can come out. Anyway, guys, talk to you soon. Have a no excuses Wednesday. Bye.